Welcome back to Improvision Entertainment. My name is Hunter Munn, and the hegemony I'm a part of decided to declare war on my northern border. I am not ready for this war. Uh, I could have voted no. I think, I think we have to be unanimous. But you know, I've learned in the past with computers, you don't say no to war enough times. And I already said no to their wanting to do war once or twice. I was already planning on going to war with these guys. I don't have any claims on them. So I'm basically going to protect my border. It might be a little bit dull, but uh, I might get sacked. Who knows? Um, let me click the button to the full screen because I have to do that. And this is what it looks like. Our federation is pretty big. We got associate status with the concern who is my vassal. Uh, Jack in the chat says, make sure none of your fleet have taken point. Oh, you mean because the computer will follow me and otherwise not do anything if that happens? You said you were Jack Black. I'm just going with what you said. You said, hey, it's Jack Black. That was literally the first thing you said. You can be Wazbeck if you want, because that's 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 how I'm seeing your name, but like you said you were Jack. I didn't say you were Jack. You said I look did I don't Hey, it's Jack Black. Oh That wasn't clear. That wasn't clear. But now that you've said that I haven't had somebody say that in years, but I have heard that before. We got there. Uh, my fleet is a long ass way away from the north side of my territory, though, because I was expecting the war to the south to be first. So, um, we're on pause. Here we go. If you ever want to catch uh, things live, it's twitch.tv slash huntermon. Upscaling complete. I don't know how they compare to me. Oh, they're pathetic. I could probably roll through them. Yeah, I could roll through them. I just don't have any claims. Uh, how cheap is it to make a claim? I can make a claim for 44. I'd need to know if some of my allies were already making claims though. Blocker liquidated. Blocker liquidated. I could definitely contribute to land. Okay. I've got a 1.4k starbase and like a one sort of uh, fleet thing. Do you guys even have... You guys don't even have a physical connection to them. Are you going to fly through my systems to get there? Wait. That's my vessel. My vessel already took some... I hope you have some claims, man. Migration treaty broken. Dig like you mean it. Trench world. An extensive analysis of hundreds of canals on the planet's surface has been... Wow, this wind is kind of loud. Has been carried out. It is evidently the intricate canal grid is not formed by any naturally occurring... I'm reading! Geological process, it has been dug out with deliberate intent. Due to the considerable age of the trenches, having been carved out more than a hundred thousand years prior, and as such considerably eroded, it is difficult to ascertain why they were made. Keep digging. Okay. Petron 1. We are receiving strange reports from our observation post above Petron 1. One of the native kingdoms has rolled under a mysterious religious figure, and we have seen evidence of them using advanced technology beyond our current development. Could this be related to our missing scientists? Yes. Now where is this? I need to land my army. Boom, 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 boom. Awareness increase. That's neat. I don't remember that sound effect. Can I... Hold on. 
Can I land you guys here? Free FDL interference does not allow this. We're going to enter orbit anyway. We're going to make our army a little bigger. Because we have the energy to afford it. I'm expecting trouble, so I'm going to be prepared to land immediately. I was already semi-prepared to do that. Man... These worlds are so tiny, but, like, they could really use me. Let's go for this 15. Oh, actually. Yes, low habitability is fine. This will be the Wesbeck colony. Where he's interacted with my stream. Did I say twitch.tv slash Undermund during this recording? I don't, I don't remember if I did. It's been a long time. I've been streaming for many, many hours. Hey, I got the little flag. Ah, it's it's windy weather boars, it's stormy weather boars. More lyrics. Wow, you already took that? Hold on. You did take that, though. I mean, I could fly in there and help. You know, when my fleet eventually arrives, because I gotta fly across the. I gotta flow across, f fly across my very substantial nation. Oh, let's check out how my claims work. Has anybody else got a claim on this? Why is it only a Oh, because I'm only getting two influence a month right now. What does my politics adaptation do? Galactic Sage said we have to do leading role. We get an envoy. Galactic community now produces 0.1 influence. Envoys assigned to the Galactic community. Oh, that would be pretty good. Huh. That wouldn't be bad. I don't remember that being there. Unlock special... Okay. Okay. Synthetics... Psionics. Okay. Um. Domination. Domination will grant the following additional empire. Okay. Grants access to the hegemony federation type and ascension perks unlock plus one. Uh. Governor level cap. Capital buildings and housing. Enforcers also produce unity. Workers and resource population. Prosperity, maybe? Districts and everything has their cost reduced. Where's, um, like, happiness shenanigans? Isn't there one specifically for that? Adaptability? Adaptability, 10%. Resources upkeep reduced by 10%. Order bombardment damage increase. Army damage increase. That sounds good. Building slots plus one. Let's go for adaptability. Still waiting on all those fleets to go north. Normally I'd set up my fleets and then... Um... And then start the war. But, I mean, it is what it is. We're seeing what happens. I guess we can go for this little 12 world. Name this tiny little planet Kiwi after a friend. Not because the friend is small. 
She's probably taller than I am. Next mining district, max generator districts, max generator districts. Max generator districts. What are we voting on? Form the galactic market. Uh, I, I mean, I could oppose that, but like, what would be the point? Falling behind in my members' power. Taking some of my vassal territory. Oh, wait, you took their planet? is in this war with us. These guys are prime is who we declared war on. The something nation, I can't tell. Where's the where are you guys? Renyan Star Nation. Okay, you're over there. Research actualized. So, my vassal was in danger, and there's no reason we should have done this. Gotcha. Kingdom of... Okay. Are you guys... I can't even tell what they're trying to fight. Star Forcers would be a pretty good upgrade, but I think based on how we're playing right now, we should probably go for cruisers. not excavating. You're already there. Okay. Can't hit merge. New ship. New ship is low. Can I put you guys together? No. Can I put... You guys together? Nope. Twenty-five hundred. Okay. You guys travel faster than the third fleet. No, you don't. We'll get there. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Spreading illness. Lezopo Anojo reports that strange sickness has been spreading among the archaeologists on Gaffer. The first confirmed cases appear shortly after the sealed chamber was opened for the first time. Wait, that was on Gaffer? Versus? Upscaling complete. Okay, we have a bigger starbase. That's good. Vaguely good. Upscaling complete. Famine. Our Arun has been experiencing agriculture difficulties. Recent crop failures could lead to conflicts over food. This is a critical moment in the development of a young society. Whether they choose to come together in their time of need or to turn against each other, the decisions now will have a strong bearing on who they ultimately become. Unfortunately, no matter which course is taken, they are entering a period of extreme hardship. We will not interfere with the natural course of development, or we have a moral obligation to help. We will gain a new insight technology. I mean... 
We are an amoral company, but every one of these people we save is a future customer. So... You know how that works. Let's send you guys along so that you might be able to take a planet. Has everybody stopped moving yet? Nope, still got 80 days left. Foreign market leaders request contact. I'm sorry? Was that, where, where is that? What does that mean? Foreign, foreign market leaders request contact? What is that voice blurb? What does that mean? I was in the founding of a colony. What the hell was that? What was what was that? What did that mean? Okay. Okay, who's going this? Okay, so the third fleet is going the slowest. Wait, now hold on. Tell you all to go over here. Yeah, third fleet's going the slowest. Okay, that's what I thought. Alright. Push a little bit forward. Let's not let things get out of hand, but we gotta go help our vassal. How's the other side doing? Oh, you're already there too. Alright, you guys' borders are close to us. Okay. Hmm. Competitive station engaged. Competitive station. I like it. Economy's doing pretty well. We just need to make sure we incoming inquiry. Hey, commercial contract. Yes. The most lucrative plans for our branch offices are Quigeth, Quigeth, and Shigeth. Any event. Jung Quoleth. Am I looking at it? Jung Quoleth. Jung fell something. Jung Quoleth. Lacking four influence. Okay. That means two months will need to pass. Colonial Enterprise Upsizing. Okay, Avril gains trade. Competitive station engaged. Establishing a new branch office will get us... will cost us 2635 and 131 influence and expect to generate a monthly income of 3.2 trade value based on 
planet of the... Well... It will also increase our empire size. I... I, I don't get it. It's really far away, but it, it's... It's really my first opportunity. Green... F Wait, what's... What's green flag versus blue flag? size are you? We can take you. Offer association status to the Great Anoxian Block Association status of, with the Federation. Great Anoxian Block. This needs a little click button to zoom into where they are thing. Great Anoxian Block. Alright, contacts. Great Anoxian Block. <laughs> Uh, you're cool looking, your toxoids. Wait, they want to join? Uh, yeah, sure. What could possibly go wrong? More findings from the excavation on sites on Gitrev 2D have come in and with them new theory for the origins of the trench network millennia ago. The planet was beset by an invading extraterrestrial organism best described as a huge snail-like creature the size of a city. It roamed with impunity, scouring the surface clean of all organic matter it touched. The trenches were dug out by the indigenous population of diminutive mus muscle-like humans, humanoids in order to to either escape the snail's onslaught or try to attack its vulnerable underbelly. By the extent of the excavation, the trench war must have gone on for generations, perhaps centuries. There is no indication that the local population survived the crisis, nor are there any rem remains of the behemoth that devoured them. A grim fate indeed. Research option gained combat training modern trench warfare? Neat? That sounds like a combat thing that we should get. Hey, look, we're fighting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We don't, seem, we don't seem to be fighting enough. Are you seriously just going to fly by us right now? Positive results. Utilizing our own agricultural technologies, we covertly ensured that they would not starve. Now they have surplus of food. It's only right that we limit the extent of our interference by taking some for ourselves. Uh, I don't know about that. Oh man, I need you to shoot them. My other fleet isn't quite up here yet. I haven't gotten to the point where I've been growing enough to make claims. Incoming inquiry. Oh man, dude, as much as I would love a research agreement, I'm already down to two influence a month. I decline. As much as that would be nice, I decline. Oh, 4,000 friendly fleet.
You're kind of in a rock and a hard place, aren't you? Oh, man. Hard place get rocked. Oh, did they, they jumped away or something? Incoming transmission. Oh, wait, they freed their colony. Migration treaty. Okay, what type of world do you have? Tropical preference. I don't think I have anybody with tropical preference. Yes, for the moment, I will agree to that. Oh, they're repopulating on their home world. Competitors engaged. Wait, so their home world is over here? So they've already lost ground at some point. Why did I lose my click? I need my click. We don't have regenerative hull, I just realized. already taken. But you didn't take the two systems behind it? Okay, hold on. Let's go over here. You come this way. anybody watching later on YouTube, I'm going to bring you back at a later time. This has been Stellaris, presented by Improvision Entertainment. I have been Huntermun, and I will see you in the future.